my name is Emily Gravit and today we are going to draw the dragon from again. You will need as always a pencil and a rubber, paint brushes and watercolour paints. If you don't have paint and you're using felt tips or crayon, that's absolutely fine. But if you have got paints, you're going to might need them at the end today. Because there's one other thing that we don't normally use in our drawings. It's a drinking straw. If you've got a drinking straw, grab one of those as well. And I'll show you what we need it for at the end. So we're going to start off as we normally do by drawing the shape of the dragon. Now we've done lots of rectangles, haven't we? We've done a few ovals and circles. But today, we are going to draw a banana. So we're going to start with a banana that's sort of not quite laying down, but going up that way. Just lightly drawn in, because some of it's going to get rubbed out afterwards like that. Okay, I might make the end of that banana a little bit thinner, like that. See how I always end up with lots of lines? That's absolutely fine. Sometimes I just leave them. I quite like it. Sometimes a few lines make something look a little bit like it's moving. Anyway, <sighs> use the blowing noises. There we go. Has everybody got a banana? If you need to go at a different speed to me, just press pause on the thing, it's fine. So then we're gonna make, from the top bit there, we're gonna do a sort of rounded triangle, sticking out forwards. How are we doing? And then we're gonna rub out a bit above it and a bit in between it like that. Quite a lot of rubbing out on this one. And we're going to make the end of his nose slightly rounder. The sort of bump like that. And rub out in between. That's one of his nostrils. That's the side of the nostril that we can't see. And then we're going to do another little dome shape like that. And that's going to be the nostril side that we can see. We'll put the nostril in in a minute. Then up at the top, where the sort of corner is there, you're gonna put a bump. That's for his eye to go inside. So you're gonna need to rub out the line that's inside that. You can tell I get through a lot of rubbers. Okay, we've got one sort of eye like that, smooth it out a bit. And he looks a bit weird at the moment, doesn't he? Like he's slightly at the wrong angle. That's because we need to put another eye and we're just gonna put another bump just as if it's behind this one here, like this. So it sort of joins in halfway along there and it comes up to his eye like that. Perfect. And then we're gonna fit a circle in that bump there. We can't fit a whole circle in this bump, so maybe just do a little bit of one like that. Pretty good, how are we doing? And then I might put his nostril in. We're not going to put two nostrils in because you, can, you can't see the one on the other side because it's on the other side of his face. But the one on this side is going to be like a little sort of tadpole shape. Colour it in with a pencil. He's already looking quite a lot like a dragon, isn't he? And we're going to do what we normally do. It's just a little bit below the bottom of where his tummy is. We're going to just put a very faint line so that we know where we're going to bring his feet down to. And then we're going to do a curve. So at the bottom of him, a curve, and then it goes down. A bit like a question mark almost. And then we're going to take his feet out to the front and draw three little spiky dragony toes. And it's going to go up parallel and just a little bit in. And then you can rub out this little bit in between. There he is, he's standing on one leg, 
I think he'd fall over if he only had one leg. So we'll give him another one. This one's going to be behind his body, so we're not going to see this bit. So he's going to come down from the edge of his tummy. One, two, three spiky little toes. There. Perfect. Standing on his little feet. You can see his tail going out to the end. We're going to put a little triangle. I'm not going to put it on that bit. I'm just going to stop short. He's got a little triangle bit. He's looking good. Should we give him some arms? Now, below where his head is and above where his middle is, where his shoulder might be, I think probably there, we're going to put a curve. You've got a curve? And then we're going to put another curve just inside that, like a handle, isn't it? And we can rub out the bits where his body shows. And then more spiky bits. One, two, three. It doesn't really matter how many. No one really knows, do they? How many claws dragons have. So we've got his little arm there. And we're only going to see a tiny, tiny bit of his other one. Or well, you could stick his hand out, but I'm not going to. Right, there's something missing. What's missing? Aha, I think wings. So just from above where his arm joins, this is quite a fun thing to do. We're going to draw very faintly a triangle whose point meets just on his shoulder. And then we're going to go from his shoulder up to the end, back down to his shoulder, then up to another bit on his triangle, bottom of the triangle, down, then up again, down again, up again, down again. So he's got like little spiky bits that come out. And you see the bits in between at the moment, they're flat, very faint. I'm going to make them curved. Two, three. So he's got one wing. Perfect. And then we're going to have another wing. So just a bit further up. This one's behind, so we're not going to see very much of it. We're going to go out again, in again, out again, in again, join them up. That one's behind that one. So it's a little bit shorter, so stop it a little bit short like that. And now we're going to give him his ears. Just from sort of where the middle of his eye is, we're going to go out, and then we're going to make a sort of leaf shape. Do the bottom bit faintly, and then follow the bottom line up like that. And I'm going to make my ear bits spiky. I'm going to draw some lines in them like that. I might give him another ear just behind. You just see it. There we go. And we've got his chin. Let's make sure that's carried on. I'm going to rub out that bit on his neck as well. How's yours looking? Is this a tricky one? Feels a bit tricky somehow, this one. Right, there we go. Let's do the pupils in his eyes. Mine is cross-eyed, look. I've done his pupils looking towards each other. And I'm going to give him a mouth that does that. Maybe going down at the end. I might even put some little bits there. That makes him look a bit angry. Mine's a bit angry. Have a tantrum. Right, now you need your paintbrush. We're going to do a bit of shading. So get your paintbrush wet and then maybe use a bit of black or a little bit of blue. Just so it's very weak. And then we're going to shade all the bits that are behind. So round his eye that's behind, that nostril that's behind, that ear that's behind. What else is behind on there? His wing that's at the back there. And his leg. I'm going to put a bit of shadow underneath him as well. Make him look like he's actually standing on something solid. Make it work. <sighs> I'm also going to shade underneath his tummy, but not that front bit of leg. I'm going to leave that. Bit of shading. A bit around his tail. I might do a bit between the struts on his wings. I don't know what those things are called. Wing struts and a tiny bit just under his eye 
because that's going to make him look angrier. Now, what you have to decide here is whether your dragon is a happy dragon or an angry dragon. You think that might influence the colour somewhat? Hmm. What I might do is put a few more. I've got my pencil again. I put a little some scales on him. All those are are little smiles, and you don't have to do them all. You can if you if you're very patient and very bored. But you could just do a few, and it just makes a little suggestion of scales. All the way down, might do some little stripes on his hair. What do we think? Now, I might just do a little bit of paint. I need to find a paintbrush. I might have mine. I'm going to use reds. I'm going to start off on his nose. And I'm going to use a very watery red paint on his nose. I'm going to try and avoid his eyes. There we go. I think just his head is turning red and then for the rest of his body, I might use some green. So I'm gonna get some green paint and I'm going to I've got some green. I'm mixing it with a little bit of yellow. Let's see if I can show you. Because that green looks a bit dirty. Oh, my colours are dirty because I don't wash my palette often enough. I'm going to paint in his tail in a lovely green. A little bit. See how wet the paint is. When you wet, when the paint's really wet, it means you can blend the colours quite well. So I'm going to put a bit more yellow on his tummy, and then get a bit more water on top of it. And look, you can sort of blend it in a bit. There we go. Oh, maybe I should have done his ears in red. What do you think? She was looking. And finally, a real finishing touch. We're going to use the straw. I'm going to load your, your paintbrush with yellow, very watery yellow, and put a blob of it right in front of his face. And then you're going to take your straw at an angle and you're going to put it right next to the paint and then bit of a flame going on. Right, let's try that with some red on top to get a really watery blob of red paint too. Put it in a blob. Take your straw very close and go. I can hear my dog barking downstairs. I think it's her dinner time. And there we go. There is my drawing of my little dragon. If you've managed to do a drawing of the dragon and you're pleased with it, I'd love to see it. So you could put it on Instagram with the hashtag Emily Draws, or you can put it in the thread under my Facebook feed and I'd love to see them. Happy drawing. <laughs>